The Origin and Fate of the Universe, Chapter 8, Einstein's General Theory of Relativity on its own. Ring, ring. Yeah, I said ring, ring. Get over it. Hello? Oh, Solar Saint. What's up? There's a brand new Vorpex update out? You don't say. It gives more VR clarity than ever? You don't say. That has more depth now than ever before? You don't say. Oh my gosh. I got something important to do. I'll call you back. We gotta go, folks. <clears throat> hey, folks. Chachi Sanchez here, gaming's most immersed man. And this week we got a brand spanky new update that came from Vortbex out of nowhere. So now I'm scrambling to get together some specs and settings for as many users as possible so that they can too now experience the most 3D VR depth support ever from Vorpex. <sighs> if anyone was ever on the fence before about Vorpex or Star Citizen, I can say without a doubt this update, the 3D depth is just as good as most games as not even, eh, I wouldn't say better, but it's just as good as most VR games and Elite Dangerous. Textures pop, poles and pipelines stick out, so many objects and surfaces just make you want to reach out and touch them. It's fantastic. It's about as good as it gets for any VR citizens out there wanting to give it a go now. There are some caveats though. Since this update dropped this week, as usual with SE and anything, we are two steps forwards and three steps backwards. I have a near perfect profile for Vorpex users uh, that I will link down below for Star Citizen that will work great for index people out there. Uh, the Valve Index is what I use and what I run on the most. My previous 1.34 setup tutorial uh, to give you a baseline uh, with in-game Star Citizen settings. Uh, if you use that in tandem with these new settings that I have down below, as well as what I'll highlight in the screenshots and voiceovers here in a bit, um, uh, that will give you a, about as near-perfect VR support that you can get for the Valve Index users. Uh, having said that, if you could, check out the previous 3.14 setup video tutorial. Uh, that will not only give me some love with the YouTube algorithm, but also want to make sure that everybody understands all the little steps needed to get the Star Citizen settings correctly to run in Vorpex. Emphasis going on to all the yes and no enabled disabled settings for head tracking tab. I can't stress this enough. Make sure you thoroughly go through these and make sure you didn't accidentally set something wrong. Also a big note. Rift S users are having a weird head tracking sliding issue with the latest update. But that can be fixed by disabling the internal open track uh, used through Vorpex itself and running open track as a standalone program alongside of Vorpex. Uh, that will fix, fix that issue. However, then that will completely kill the ability to use your mouse in games, from what I'm told. We are looking into this on the Discord as hard as possible. Any other people that have a Rift Est and are able to help and track down how to fix this issue, the more the better. Those willing to enable, hop on over to our Discord and get brainstorming. Also, I can't stress this enough, these are optimal settings for how I play. With full cockpit and wheel pedals for flying and driving, mouse keyboard for FPS and walking. Some people might play at a desk, some people might try touch controls or a wireless controller in standing VR mode. This is to give Index VR users a baseline that they can configure and mess with to get just right for their own individual setups. If you want some tips and setup guides from other power users, this is where I say to come over and join the Discord page. The Verse. We already got an exploding population of VR and non-VR users who are helping get everybody else up and running since I only have the index to test on. This is only a few weeks old and we already have over 50 members and plenty of activity. I plan to expand on this as long as people keep coming and staying around. So this is where I warp and plug all the good stuff. Hit it! So. Real quick, let me plug a few things and then we'll get down to the uh, dirty and uh, get you guys all set up with the new settings. But for now, let me just mention that we got two YouTube channels. VR Citizen, which is going to house all the new professional content and tutorials with all the cool green screen and fun stuff. Chachi Sanchez, the one that you have seen the most. This YouTube channel will still exist as a place for all my stream highlights and other stuff to have home. 
Then we also got the Verse, the Discord channel. This is where you could come join our growing hub for VR players and anyone else wanting to hang out. And then last, of course, Chachi Sanchez, Chachi underscore Sanchez, my Twitch page. This is where you can find me live whenever I do streaming. I still don't have that very good stable hours yet. It's mostly late night stuff, Texas time, but soon I plan to try to go for some sort of 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. schedule when I do go live. So, for now, enjoy the show. And if I were a better content creator, I'd have these as interactable, Im- interactable embedded links, uh, not just a looped video with a voiceover. But here we are instead. So, I'd ask that you do the voodoo that you do and click on all the stuff down below in the description. All the support is very much appreciated and it is not going unnoticed, folks. With that said, here are the screenshots of the new Vorpex settings for Valve Index users. The first thing you should do for the new settings is open up the Vorpex menus in-game by hitting the delete key. We are first going to set the aspect ratio to 4x3 in cinema mode under the play style. Once this is done, swap over to play style into f- swap over your playstyle into full VR mode. The 4x3 aspect ratio it will stick. This is what we need. The next thing that you want to do now that you are in full VR mode is set the aspect ratio correction to 1.1. Next, image zoom to 1.18. I go with none on the background so it's a nice solid black void behind your picture. Edge peak scale is one that you will want to set yourself and position it to where the menu's edges, whenever you use edge peak, the middle mouse button, are comfortable for you. Zoomed in all the way as it is set in the screenshot above Uh, will set your edge peak to fill up your entire headset. So some might not prefer it this way. If you want the edge peak to show up as a smaller screen, just decrease this slider bar here. After that, you're going to want to set the 3D reconstruction to Z normal. These modes have been a swing and miss for some users for a while now, but I can officially say that they are back in business and VR is on the table, boys. This concludes the VR Vorpex settings and optimizations for the Valve Index users. Next are Star Citizen in-game settings that I went over in my 3.14 tutorial video, and I still recommend you go watch that to make sure you are familiar with the entire setup process. But nonetheless, here are those in a quick short format. These are the in-game settings for Star Citizen that are important for VR. First off is removing all the look controls from the HOTAS. You're going to want to go to key bindings, then advanced controls customization. Then on your joystick and HOTAS, you're going to want to go to vehicles view and then remove any and all binds that have uh, anything to do with look axis, with look left, right, up, down, and anything in between. You still want to keep your camera cycle view and free look button or bind that if possible. (laughs) After that, What you're going to want to do is remove the dynamic zoom in and out absolute toggle or any type of dynamic zoom controls that might be bound to your default setup for your HOTAS, whichever you might use. On the X52 Pro, the zoom in and out, I think absolute value is bound to one of the slider knobs. So that might be a cause of a lot of issues for some people who have tried it before and have complained about the image being too zoomed in. After that, we need to go to game settings, and then all the way down here, keep scrolling to uh, vehicles, targeting, enable zoom, auto zoom on locked on target. You want to disable that and make sure that this slider is set all the way to zero. This will disable the automatic zooming in on a locked on target that you might not have ever noticed was happening but you're damn sure going to notice once you're in VR after all of that be sure to go to your head tracking settings and make sure that your uh, down here at the head tracking general source is for track IR and then after that you're going to want to go through and mirror every single one of these settings to get you the same setup that I do And that's basically going to be in order here. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. And then yes, yes, no, no. 
that's basically going to be the quickest breakdown that I could give to you of all of that. But what you're going to want to do on an individual basis is make sure that each one of these is the way that you want it. Like for instance, head tracking, general, disabled during aim down sights. Some people would want it working during aim down sights, some people don't. So depending on your setup and how you play VR in Star Citizen, be sure to go through at your own uh, leisure and make sure that these settings are right for you. However, these current settings are a baseline that I use. So having said that, there's one last thing that I need to uh, remind folks of, and that after the recent Star Citizen 3.1 for patch, VR users when aiming down sights have reversed mouse controls for some reason. This is fixed by going to controls and then the mouse sensitivity ADS zoom scaling enabled. This is by default turned on. Be sure to turn this off. Make sure it is on no. With that on no, that should only affect VR users. This will not affect your non-VR gameplay from what I'm told and from what I can see. Uh, this fix was found by DW on Discord, so shout out to him. Also, at this point, we're going to do some shout outs to Solar Saint for most of the index custom profile settings that we're using. Also, Borg and Salvin helping out with testing and other matters as well. I can't do the voodoo that I do without their help and yours, which is why I can't stress enough now how nice it is to get information and feedback from other VR users on the Discord. These tiny things all add up to getting the best possible VR experience for those out there in the verse. This basically wraps up a quick review of the Star Citizen 3.14 VR settings in the menus, as well as the new Vorpex patch settings for Index users and VR settings to employ in the menus themselves. I highly suggest you to go back and watch the 3.14 tutorial and to make sure that you have your head wrapped around the entire process. And with that, be sure to like, subscribe, and do the voodoo that you do. And then, ending video. Roll the credits. Whew. All right, finally here. Okay, now to the important stuff. Like I was talking about earlier. Where are that way? Okay, cool, cool. All right, finally, the important stuff. This is what I was talking about. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wormers just dropped their smoked Gouda bacon burgers with beef from New Terra. Mm. Delicious. Good place, Whammers. My favorite. Anyways, if you guys thought this whole trip was for you, I'm sorry, but you aren't the center of my universe. Spelt with a V-R-S-E, by the way. So that's it. If you guys support uh, this video, um, thank you and for all the help that you do for it. Be sure to check out the description below for links and to check out and uh, follow all those stuff. Also, if you have questions about resolutions for what your headset is, be sure to look up at the write-up for Mongrel. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. He's the guy who did the original Spectrum post that has all the different resolutions that you might want to try or need for all the different sizes of headsets and different types of uh, units out there. So, I'm going to include that in the links below as well. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys all very much for the support. As always, till next time, stay safe and fly right. Hmm. Hmm. Smoke Gouda.